I remember when I was very young, uh, I can, had such a great time uh, as a young child uh, living in Manchester, Connecticut. But I always felt like I needed some more attention, like a lot of young people do. And so I met this young boy at a teen center we had. I was 13, he was 15. My relationship became a sexual one. Uh, I ended up pregnant and I turned to him for help. He made it clear that he didn't want to go through with the pregnancy and he tried to help me by giving me some money to have an abortion. Then he spent the money. I was so scared and confused I didn't know where to turn. And the thought of my parents knowing I was sexually active, I couldn't bear the thought. I ended up going to Planned Parenthood for pregnancy counseling. It was the only place I had ever heard about that helped women. They told me I was young and I had my whole life in front of me. So I ended up having an abortion. This was in 1973 in January. Since then, it's been 36 years since then. And they told me it was a blob of tissue, but I knew, I knew at 13 years old laying on that table when I looked at that, that machine, when it sucked my baby out of me and I watched it go down that tube into a jar, they didn't even think of covering it. I knew something had died. I knew it was a baby and a part of me died that day. They let me go and I just stood on the streets of New York crying and sobbing. Ever since that day, all I felt was alone and, and abandoned and I just continued self-destructive behavior I buried my emotions. I denied the feelings that anything was wrong. I did drugs, I drank. And then at 22 years old, I got pregnant again. It didn't stop. I didn't think I was worthy. I ended up aborting again. I aborted three times. And then I got pregnant with this man when I was 23. And he said, no, he says, we're gonna have it. I want you to marry me. Well, I ended up miscarrying in my fifth month. Then I miscarried again in my fifth month, and then I miscarried again. And they found and they said that my cervix was destroyed by the abortion procedure. I just thank God because I ended up having two children, but I ended up laying down for eight months. It destroyed my life. Thank God for Jesus Christ because when I cried out one night, not even knowing what I was doing, he was there. And that's the reason I stand here today, and that's the reason why I am silent no more.